A proper draping and seclusion of dead margins and eyelashes is of paramount importance in eye surgery. That keeps the source of commensals and a possible pathogens from the surgical field. The patient is ready for a surgery of the right eye. The left eye is covered with an eye shield so that the drape doesn't touch the eye and patient will be able to keep both the eyes open during surgery which is done under topical anesthesia. No anesthesia is given. See that sterile and unsterile areas do not touch each other. The person has worn gloves and is sterile in all his uh, in attire and then he puts a drape without touching the unsterile areas. This is a tape which is manufactured by a company called JMS which does not leave any sticky gum when it is removed. This piece comes along with the instruments uh, which is autoclaved. So he holds the two ends of it and grabs the upper lid, asks the patient to look towards the forehead and then gently without any pressure he puts the tape across so that he holds the upper lid dashes. And he puts the drape uh, the way that you are sh sh seeing here. And there is a pipe or a rod which lifts the drape up as he is uncovering it, unfolding it onto the chest of the patient. So you have a nice drape, well stuck. Uh, uh, the, the fluid bag is opened up. Sometimes the slit that he has done do not correspond with the lid aperture. Ideally, it should be at the junction of lower one-third and upper two-thirds of the palpable aperture. And uh, sometimes that's the area which, which is highlighted, which is bridged across from the medial canthus to the nose. If that happens, again, the proper uh, proper draping is uh, not done. Then you have to release on the from the nose and reapply it after applying a finger on the, um, the, on the right side of the bridge of the nose. He puts a speculum, you see that the lashes are totally secluded and uh, this is a very comfortable area to do surgery. Thank you.